So building off of that, Liza says that she's also a breast cancer patient, ERPR positive, um, post chemo for 10 months. Um, and praise God, no manifestation of any cancer cells. Congratulations, Liza. Um, is chicken and beef okay? Yeah, so in terms of protein sources, your lean poultry, so chicken and turkey, um, no skin on it, it's gonna be totally fine. Um, there's really no recommendations on how much is too much. Um, so having some animal protein, some of that poultry every day should be just fine. Um, in terms of beef, that's something that you want to kind of limit to maybe like once a week, twice a week, um, because we do know that red meat is pretty strongly linked to different kinds of cancer, um, not necessarily to breast cancer itself, but we always wanna be on the lookout for um, things that we can prevent moving forward. And if you're, you know, if there's no signs of cancer now, we wanna make sure that there's no signs of cancer, especially anywhere else in your body. Um, so those red meats, um, like beef and lamb and pork, um, and especially those processed meats, so bacon, sausage, ham, um, those are the ones that are directly linked to causing colorectal cancer. Um, and just kind of in their digestion, they raise your inflammation. Um, so it's something you wanna have less of. Other good uh, protein options would be um, beans and legumes and lentils, um, as those are gonna have those good, um, that good amount of fiber to help feed those gut bacteria and decrease your inflammation um, levels. And then you um, can also choose um, those soy foods like I talked about. Um, eggs are also a good protein source and those, those fatty cold water fish. Those are also good ways to get in your protein.